Welcome back. Now we start describing the problem that we're trying to solve. Um, remember, this is a toy problem, so it's quite simple. Remember, this is only for demonstration purposes, for teaching and for education purposes. And the idea here is to just explain and illustrate how we can use generative algorithms to solve permutation problems. So our idea here, our problem says that we have the coordinates of 10 short line segments or 10 dashes and these 10 dashes form one big dashed line as you can see in front of you. The idea is that we have the coordinates but we don't have the correct order in order for them to form the dashed line. Uh, the dashed line as you can see we want to know the first, the first dash, second dash, third dash and so on and so forth all the way up to the 10th dash so we can find the starting point and the ending point of the dashed line. So we would like to find the right order to form the dashed line. Right? Um, to represent the solution, we will just use a simple array of integers and it's, it's going to be of size 10 because we have 10 dashes and we will use um, numbers from 0 all the way up to 9 as you can see. Now each of these uh, members in this chromosome or in this candidate solution will be one dash and the idea as we explained before when we did the binary uh, uh, representation or we did uh, genetic algorithms for binary representation we will create an array of size 10 to, to hold the coordinates of the 10 dashes we will call that array dashes so it will have the coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2 of each dash and we will use these numbers this will be the index of of the dash in the dash array so when we say 2 that means um, the dash at index number 2 so 0 1 2 and so on and so forth right and we will create our population the chromosome matrix or population let's assume uh, we, we start with 30 elements so 30 by 10 the 30 represents the population size of 30 it could be any size really as we mentioned before should be big enough to allow some solutions to form each member of this matrix represents a possible solution. Uh, this is not a binary array of size 10 now, rather int an integer array of size 10. And a simple example solution will look like this. We will use these numbers, as we mentioned, or the members here of each chromosome to access the coordinates in the dashed array. As we mentioned, for example, this element here, it says 3, that means element at index 3 of the dashes array so 0 1 2 3 uh, in Java it will look like this to create the genes matrix or the uh, population or the you know chromosome matrix 30 members 10 line segments each now in the next uh, uh, video we will explain how we can um, evolve the population ie how we can change it and then after that we'll have a look at the full code. Remember, you will find the link to the code below this video. Thank you very much for, for in fact, not, not only this video, but all the videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.